um, hello. Now I know I don't really talk in videos too often. Um, most of my content is PvP based, deathmatch, and today I'm going to be covering PvP tips, um, five in general. Now I'm going to kind of be winging it right now because, um, I'm on a time crunch with, uh, uh, work and stuff, but, um, yeah, so let's get right into it. The first one I think we're going to do is skyboxing. So basically what that means is getting to the height limit or close to the height limit um, when on a flame stalker or shadow skill. Um, and right now I'll be doing it on a shadow skill because it's just easier. So basically um, what you have to do is um, if you go up on a shadow skill, there's going to be this point where you start turning off to the side. And um, once you get to that point, which is right there, you're going to want to press F, which if I just press F while going straight, it makes me go into the like landing animation. But if I'm looking up and then I press F, I go up a lot and then I just press F again. So you press F right before you get into that turn and then you press F again to get out of your landing animation. And you can get relatively high by doing this. Um, I'm not really going to try to do it, but I still have 30% stamina and I'm already at the height of the snow on Snowy Mountain, which um, is, is pretty high and I, I achieve that very quickly. So that is, that's going to be the first tip for uh, flying through trees in Westwoods um, or East Redwoods. Um, when you're flying through trees, and say I'm about to hit this tree, what you'll see most people do to avoid that is to press F. Um, that, and it's the same thing with skyboxing. You go into this landing animation, and like, it, it will look like this, um, and it, it basically stops you from taking damage. Now, obviously, if I'm like diving straight down and I press F, it's not going to stop me from taking damage. But I, I can't fly. But oh, okay, I'll just keep talking so I don't embarrass myself any further. Um, if so, if you're like landing, um, you won't take any damage um, because you press F. So you can kind of use this to hit to go past trees and to not take damage when you're flying through trees. So if you find yourself constantly like clipping a tree like that, then if you feel like you're gonna hit a tree, okay. If you feel like you're gonna hit a tree, like right here, I might hit a tree, I can press F and I don't take any damage. Basically, if you're on an SS and you cloak, so I'm cloaked right now and I'm not crouching. You can obviously see my outline. Still kind of hard to, but you can clearly see it. Now if I crouch, I go, after a few seconds, you go fully invisible. And so this is your, the full cloak of the shadow scale. So if I'm like this, standing up, you can clear, clearly see me. And I press Q again, there's that moment for just a second that maybe maybe in editing I'll pause the video to show you guys but um but uh there's just like a half a second one fourth of a second that um your character goes completely invisible here I'll do it one more time just so you guys can can see right there so you can obviously anyone would then think, well, how can, how can I abuse this for my PvP uh, cravings? I don't know. Um, well, everyone knows if you use the cloak, then it takes your stamina away. And if you run with the cloak, it takes even more stamina. And if you fly with the cloak, it takes a lot of stamina. So, knowing that when it, when you disable your cloak, there's this, like a 
really small space where you go completely invisible. And what you can do is now watch if, if you're watching my stam, you can see how effective this is. But if you press Q and then right after it you press uh, your bite, which will when you bite it cancels your cloak. So if you press Q and then press bite to cancel your cloak, you go completely invisible for just a second and you lose no stamina. Go to go to deathmatch. So some people will use it as almost an insult saying like haha go to deathmatch you need, need like to work on your skill but it's honestly one of the best ways you can get better. It's called scale works for deathmatch. Okay so on to the last tip or maybe it's not the last tip I don't know the order that I'm gonna do these in but um I assume it will probably be the last. So this isn't really a tip that you can use for PvP let's say. I mean I guess you could maybe do a super cool clip of doing it. I've done it once before on someone but um I don't know if you guys have seen the clip of the person in that movie. I don't know what movie it was but it were, they were like saying like curve the bullet and then the person couldn't curve the bullet so then he the guy who was telling him to curve the bullet went and stand, stood in front of the target and then the guy curved his pistol bullet around the target um so i don't i'll, I'll, I'll put that clip up just so you can so, so you can watch um so there is a way to curve it and if you see this black part you slowly move your cursor until there's the white right here right after the black i go to the white and then i press my left mouse button to shoot as I flick my mouse to the right into the black if you do that perfectly you curve your bullet now I don't know if you guys saw that but it curves <laughs> 